What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Quackwa Ball team for ranked regulation H. Now, when it comes to this Quackwa Ball, this Pokemon is absolutely amazing. I haven't used it in a good bit, but I absolutely love it because it has the ability Moxie and it has its signature move Aqua Step. Now, if you guys do not know, every time you pick up a KO with the ability Moxie, you will get a plus one attack boost. And every time you use its signature move Aqua Step, you will get a plus one speed boost. Now, combining both of them, if you pick up a KO with Aqua Step, you not only get a speed boost, but you get a plus one attack boost, making this Pokemon snowball into like a very fast sweeper. So if you can pick up a KO with Aqua Step, you're going to be heading in the right direction with Quackwavall. Now, this Quackwavall has a Stellar Terror type with Focus Ash, and then it's got Protect, Close Combat, and Aqua Jet as its first turn priority. Also on the team, we have Slacking and Glaring Weezing. Not Glaring Weezing, regular Weezing with Neutralizer Gas. Now, we showcased this combo on the channel a couple videos ago with Glaring Weezing instead of Weezing. So, if you guys want to check that out, definitely go check it out. But it's very strong. Weezing takes away all abilities. Slacking thrives out with that. With the Light Orb, Protect, Double Edge, Sucker Punch, and High Horsepower. And Weezing's got Protect, Sludge Bomb, Taunt, and Willow. It's just a very strong combo. We're definitely going to be using it in today's video. Our final three Pokemon on today's team features Rillaboom, Golden Go, and Dragonite. Dragonite has a choice ban as item, doing big time damage. Rillaboom can fake out and Grass Guide doing Rillaboom things. And then Golden Go has that choice scarf with Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Power Gem, and if he wants to pass it off, he's got Trick. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Quack Football team. First match on its way, and we are going up against a Pelipper and Arch Ludon main team. We definitely want to go into like Glaring Weezing and just stop all abilities right here, right now, because I cannot deal with the rain. I mean, I do have a few Pokemon that can deal with a lot of these guys, like Quackwaval can deal with Arch Ludon, Ruloom can deal with Basque Legion, but again, the rain combo is just super strong. So I kind of just want to go into like Weezing here alongside with Slacking. Like, you got high horsepower, don't you? You do, that's beautiful. You can deal with Arch Loot on them. You know what? I'm gonna go in here for the lead. I am gonna go Weezing just right off the rip. No abilities. Gonna work very well for us. And then in the back end, we will bring Quackwaball. And last but not least, do we want Choice Band Dragonite? I mean, that could be good for like E speeds if we need it. I actually kinda like him. Yeah, I'm all about it. I am all about it. So that's what we're gonna rock out with. Lock it in, lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves someone here in match number one. But I just want to apologize for yesterday, not uploading, but for now, from here on out, we got daily uploads for you guys. If you guys watched like my previous video from here, you guys would know I'm in a hockey tournament, or I was in a hockey tournament, and uh, Sunday, which would have been today's video, or yesterday's video, would have been yesterday's video, I was there from 8 a.m. to like 9 p.m. I didn't get home till real late because we actually made the finals, so we were there all day. We ended up losing in the national championship finals, which was a little rough, but I'm just so sore. I played seven games, I'm beat up. Look at all the cuts on my elbow and stuff. It's like going crazy. My 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 knee or my ankle swollen because I rolled it. My knees all cut up. Like I'm just I'm just sore, man. I'm beat up right now. Seven games in on the weekend. It was just a rough time, but yeah, you know, I still had a good time. We ended up coming in second, like I said. But you know, it was it was it is what it is, you know. But back to the Pokemon action. They end up leading Incineroar alongside with Amoogus. So Amoogus could spore. That is looking a little ugly. I could high horsepower this Incineroar, which wouldn't be bad. I think I'm gonna end up doing that. He's probably gonna end up sporing me, which I don't like, which I, I kind of want to just like double edge this thing and just get rid of it. But he could also fake me out. So you know what? I'm just gonna protect you. And I'm just gonna go for a taunt into the Moonga slot. I think that's my play all day. So I'm gonna protect the slacking. We don't really feel like dealing with fake out right now. And he's gonna go for the fake out into the slacking slot. So that's a good turn. That's a good turn because Weezing will go before. Amoongus and I will be able to taunt him up. So if he wants to go for Spore or anything, you are simply not allowed to. You are simply not allowed to. So, yep, he's going for Spore. Take that. Take that. So from here, I mean, if I had to guess your back end Pokemon, it's gotta be. I don't think you're gonna swap into Pelper here, but I'm gonna go for high horsepower. I'm just gonna look to dump on this Incineroar. And then if I can chip up some damage into this uh, Amoongus slot, that'd be nice. But honestly, I was thinking of like Will O Wisp being that slot. The Moonga slot and hoping he would swap into like Bash Legion, but I, that's that's rare. That's rare. It would be more so like Pelipper or something like that. So we'll see how this one plays out here. Slacking is actually like really fast, as much as it doesn't look like it's fast. So it, it is going to outspeed both this Incineroar and the uh, and the Moongus. 
But I, I think we definitely see a swap from one of the Pokemon at least. Probably a Moongus and he tries party shouting out. But we're going to see a Terra type out back here. This has got to be Incineroar. This has got to be Incineroar. Yep, Incineroar going to get that Terra type. He's going to go into straight Ghost. So luckily we're not going for double edge. High horsepower can still do respectable damage. Um, I wonder what a Moongus is doing here. Just Pollen Puffin maybe? High horsepower launches does, like I said, respectable damage. And he might just knock, use knock off on me. But Sludge Bomb going to pick up some damage here as well. And yeah, there's knockoff. So my Life Orb's gone. So my Life Orb is gone. Good Terra type on the end. And Palm Puff's just going to fly here. So that's all right. I mean, I might just double edge, just get rid of this Amoongus here. And then just burn this Incineroar now. I think that's definitely my play. We're just going to get rid of Amoongus. And we're just going to go for the burn onto Incineroar. Look to just dump on him. Tell him to go bye-byes. Tell him to go bye-byes. We're going to have its attack stat. It kind of feels weird, like, burning Incineroar, doesn't it? Like, it feels weird. So he ends up hard swapping Amoongus. Please don't be Basculegion. If this is Basculegion, I'm going to be upset. Okay, it's Archaludon, but still, it's going to do, like, negative 5 damage. At least he doesn't get the stamina boost. That's good news. That's good news. So there's that. will -O is going to connect. We love it. We love it. We love it. Um, I wonder what he does here. Because we can high horsepower this, that Archaludon. Because I don't think he KO's slacking here. He goes for a parting shot. That ain't bad. So he's going to go into Pelipper. Paloops is going to come out here. We do pick up a burn onto Incineroar, which is really good. We know he has a Moongus late game. We have Quack Quaval. Hmm. Do want to swap slacking, or do I just want to attack? Like, Double Edge can do, still do a ridiculous amount of damage. So I think he's going into Pelipper here, correct? No. I mean, the rain wouldn't even set up either. So, from here, we could just drop the high horsepower. I think I might. He could spore again. I mean, we might as well. You know what? Never mind. We might just pop up and predict that. I'm just going to double edge and look to get rid of this thing. Double down to a Moogus. I got to double down to a Moogus. I can't have this thing just stand on the field. And actually, we're not doing a lot of damage to it. That minus one and no life orb really hurts the soul. The chances are, I think he's just palm puffing this, this Arch Ludon, right? I think you are. Sludge Bomb, gonna pick up some nice damage again. Body Press gonna fly and end up KOing us. Oh, we survive on two. And there's the Palm Puff. So, yeah, we kinda knew that was coming. We kinda knew that was coming. So, I could taunt him again. I could double edge up. Um, could end up swapping back into Incineroar, which is definitely in play. And at that point, I kinda just wanna go into like Dragonite or Quackle Ball. I really do think you go back into Incineroar here. Predicting a double edge. So I'm going to chunk up damage here. And I'm just going to Sludge Bomb Amoongus. I really I really do think you swap after you've seen that double edge. This is a good match. This is a great match so far. Our is playing really good though. Regenerator, all that good stuff. I do think Incineroar comes back out here. Nope, just a Rage Powder. Just a Rage Powder. Okay, I mean, can we KO with this? I really hope so. Getting rid of Amoongus would be huge. So High Horsepower flies. Sludge Bomb should be able to do the trick. And Night Night Amoogus. Okay, so that, that's fair. I really thought you were swapping into Incineroar, but that Rage Powder really helps us out. So there's that. He's probably Body Presses again. Then he goes for a Flash Cannon instead. And he KOs my Slacking. No big deal. We still have no abilities on the field, which is actually really good for us. Um, I could go into Quackle Ball. Chances are they go back into Incineroar. I could go into you and start Stomping Tantrum. What do I want to do here? Quackle Ball is not bad, especially if I could just, like, protect this turn. And yeah, it's going to be my play. So I'm going to go into Quackle Ball. I'm going to pose that big time threat of just being able to close combat. So I got Quackle Ball. And Sinwar probably comes back out here ready to fake out. And yeah, he's burned though. He's burned, which is huge. So Quackle Ball's going to be that Pokemon that we're looking to kind of just like sweep the game. We do have Stellar Terror. So I'm just going to protect and try to read out what he wants to do. Um, and I think throwing a Will-O-Wisp is in our best interest. Just, just to chip up some damage onto Archer Ludon. So I'm going to do that. Quackle Ball on the field. We still have Terror type. We still have Terror type. No ability is allowed right now. As of right now. Protecting come gonna come out here. And we're already fast on the field. So we so we don't need to aqua set. So there's the fake out into this slot again. So we protect both fake outs so far this this game. And Weezing's gonna land another will o -Wisp, which we love. Not a physical attacker, but again, the chip damage is better than any damage that Weezing's gonna do to Arch Ludon. So that's solid for us. A nice lovely burn. Draco Meteor is going to launch. He's going to go minus two. And we're going to survive. We are going to survive that. And I get a berry. And I get a berry. Okay, so he could go for parting shot again. 
That is a possibility. Did we just close combat this Arch Ludon down? I could. I mean, I have Dragonite for late game, which is good. Arch Ludon's the main threat right now. If I had to guess, Pelper's got to be that Pokemon. But I'm going to go for close combat here, and I'm just going to protect Weezing. I feel like they want to take out Weezing so bad and get this rain off. So I'm just going to attack this uh, Arch Ludon. If you swap into Pelper, you swap into Pelper. No big deal. And it doesn't look like they're doing that. So protect comes out here. Close combat's gonna launch. Can we just KO this thing? Let's go. That's a big time KO. We won't get the Moxie boost because of our wheezing on the field, but still KOing that and having our focus ash raid roll is just massive. It is just massive. So there's that. He goes for a parting shot. Now would be a good time for us to swap into uh Dragonite. And he's forced to just bring back out Incineroar. So he's gonna reset the fake out. Um, he probably thinks we're just gonna protect, and I'm just gonna swap into my Dragonite. Get my attack stat back. All right, Quackle Ball. Pick it up at big time close combat. Golden goes to final Pokemon. Little scary. Little scary. What's my play here? Because sooner we're back on the field, he obviously he has fake out Raider Roll. Dragonite is definitely going to be my swap. I want to reset Quackle Ball's stats. And. And I guess I just start Sludge Bombing. I, I, I guess. Thing is, Intimidate's gonna fly through after this. I still have Terror though. I'm just gonna Sludge Bomb here. That's 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 pretty much as much as Weezing can do. I'm gonna swap Quackle Ball. They're gonna be able to get off Intimidate once once this ends, and hopefully they just KO Weezing this turn and then Intimidate comes out here. That's kind of what I want. That'd be huge. That'd be huge. You're gonna fake out this slot. That's fine. You're gonna go for Make It Rain. Yep, that's fine. I'm able to soak. And we'll go from here. So, abilities are going to come out here. This thing's special attacks minus one. Incineroar's burned. Neutralize and guess where, where it's off. Intimidate comes out here. Cool inner focus. Now I can bring out Quackle Ball with no effect. So, that's huge for us. That's huge for us. So, Quackle Ball, get back out here. You still have focus ash, which is great. I think we kind of have to target down this uh, Golden Go. Let's be honest here. They're going to Stellar, Stellar type here. And choice into stop and catch him. Or I could choice into outrage. No. We're gonna choice into stop and catch him. And then we're gonna do this and just go for an aqua step. Water terra. I mean what's Dragonite's Terra? Probably normal, right? Yeah, normal. We the choice ban. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go stomp and catch him. I'm gonna go stellar terra. And I'm just gonna go for an aqua step. Look to just finish off this golden go. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I like the speed boost as well. I mean, I think Quackle Ball outspeeds you regardless, but I mean, Aqua Step with the Terror Boost is going to be nice for us. So solid first match so far. This is coming down to the wire. They don't have Fake Out. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, they don't have Fake Out anymore, which is great news. Um, Make It Rain is going to actually outspeed us. That's going to KO us. Can we KO with Aqua Step? That's the real question. That's the real question. I know Incineroar is burned, which is really good for us. He might just go for a parting shot. But Aqua Step, how much damage are you doing? If you could pick up a KO, that'd be massive, because then I get that Moxie plus one. Let's see. We don't pick up the KO. Can Aqua Jet pick up the KO? That's the real question. Speed boost in effect. Knockoff's gonna fly. You take off my focus dash, but do little damage. Just a little bit of damage. Just a little bit of damage. Burn's gonna chip up. Um We're gonna go for another Aqua Step here. I'm just gonna look to KO. If I KO, I'll get that Moxie boost. That burn, though. That burn's helping us out tremendously. He ends up protecting Golden Go. You can go for Parting Shot here, most likely. Most likely. Parting Shot's gonna fly. Yep, there it is. So he's just gonna sit here and Parting Shot me down. I really hope we can pick up this KO. We have to pick up the KO right here. Because right now we outspeed. We won't get the Terra Boost, which really sucks. We don't get the Terra Boost anymore. But I still feel as Aqua Step should be able to pick up the KO. Let's do it. Because if I had to guess, he just wants a parting shot away and just lower my attack, lower my attack, lower my attack. So we need the KO here. Minus one. Pick up the KO. We do. That's huge. So now we're back even on the attack board due to our Moxie boost. And this thing's sitting with the burn. As long as he doesn't get crits, I swear. If he gets a crit, I'm going to cry. There's a parting shot. That's fine. So we're back to minus one. I'm down to just Aqua Step. Just keep going. And just keep going. So we can just keep parting shot at me. Burn will slowly chip up some damage, which is great. You don't have a Citrus Berry, which is good to know because we've seen the Amoongus eat it up. 
Well, that was a great first match. So I'm just gonna quick click Aqua Step again. Do as much damage as I possibly can. I wish you weren't Ghost Terror because then I can close combat. And we're doing decent damage. And there's Knock Off, which he's gonna do nothing. He's gonna do about as much as we're doing with Burn. And it comes down to, like, if he gets a crit or not. That's really what it comes down to. If not, we should win this game, no problem. And they cancel battle, so they don't even go for the crit. GG's her opponent. What a first match. What a first match. Coming down to the wire. Quack Quivall prevailing. We love this Pokemon. Match number two on its way. Going up against a Trick Room team here with Mousehold. Ursa Luna for Rigorath. Twerkle. And then they got Primarina and Dragonite, just like us. Okay, I mean, Glaring Weezing obviously going to be great. Or not Glaring Weezing. Regular Weezing and Slacking. Obviously going to be great here. Do I want to lead it though? I feel like it's good in like all situations. What is my plan here? Because if they go into like Torkoal, I mean Weezing Slacking is just so perfect here. I gotta go into it. I gotta go into it. We will go in with Quack Ball for late game. And last but not least, do we go Golden Go instead of Dragonite? Or do we just stick with Dragonite? I mean Dragonite's great for first time priority. Especially if they do get off Trick Room. Could hand off the choice scarf. I like the same squad here. I really do. I think it just works out really well. Slacking Weezing is so good in this format. Because again, just taking away abilities is massive because you just take away so much. You take away like armor tail, you can take away drizzle, stamina like we did in the last match, drought right here. It's just really, really big. I mean, I like it so much. I really do. I think it's just like a, such a tough combo to play up against. Especially if you're like in like the lower master tier or even in the lower tiers like glaring wheezing or just regular Why do I keep saying glaring wheezing? Wheezing and slacking is just such a good combo because a lot of people don't know how to play up against it It's or I should say it's hard to play up against It's taking away abilities like it's just like okay. It's a whole different game whole different ball game and Most of the time you want to just like target down wheezing But for the most part they will protect so it's it's real weird. It's real weird so a lot of Weezings will just sit on the field and just protect, just so you don't KO it. But let's see who they end up leading. It's just going to be Dragonite and Frigograph. So Frigograph's going to be the Pokemon that we want to target down here, probably with Double Edge. Probably just Double Edge this bad boy. We really don't want him getting off Trick Room. And just go for a burn here, right? Burn Dragonite. Double Edge over here. I'm, I'm with it. Are we going to a Terror type of Ghost? Nah, no need. No need. No need. So Brick Break's gonna launch. That's gonna do some damage. That does have about half of our damage. Double Edge gonna connect. Bop. Almost bye-bye to you. Maybe I should have Sludge Bomb there. You probably still get off Trick Room now. And will o gonna connect. That is a huge will o -Wisp. Weezing is landing huge will o -Wisp today. The so chances are you're going for Trick Room. We actually could have taunted you. Then you go for Expanded Force. I don't mind that. We might die, but I don't mind that. We don't die. I don't mind that. Cool. Cool. So we will probably see a Brick Break fly out here. Again, I could go into Ghost Terror type and use it to our advantage right now. I really could. I really could. Do we think he's going for Brick Break though? That's like... We would have to make that big call. I might just taunt you just so you don't get off Trick Room. Um... Do we think he goes for another... I'm definitely going to try to taunt you for a graph, or I could just KO you. I shouldn't go for Sludge Bomb, just like to KO you. Do we think he goes for... I think we just Sucker Punch this thing. Just try to get off damage. You go for Brick Break, you go for Brick Break. like the damage, that's great damage. We got a crit too, that was a good call. That was a good call, so we lose some HP to Life Orb, there's the Brick Break. So I could have went to that Ghost Tower if I wanted to, but I'm actually glad that we saved it. Because I like what we just did there. I liked it. So we got a Burn on Dragonite. Sludge Bomb's gonna connect. We're gonna get rid of Frigograph. That's huge. So, no Trick Room. Frigograph down. Dragonite low on HP with a burn. And we still keep our Weezing. Alright. I don't mind it. I don't mind. I could go into Dragonite. I could just go into my Quack Ball right now. Now, is Quack Ball faster than that Dragonite? I don't know if it is. 137? No, you're not. Because that Dragonite's outspeeding this. This, what's it called? That Dragonite's outspeeding us right now, but I still want to go into it. I think it's a good call for us. So if they go into another physical attacker, we're probably just going to try to burn it. Let's see, you got... It's going to be Torkoal. So no... No, uh, what's it called right now? No Drought, which is great. So I'm just going to protect Weezing here. Could go for the Aqua Step. See if that will KO. We might just end up... You know, we're going to go into a Terra Aqua Step. 
I want to make sure this thing drops out here. I really do. Because if I get this Moxie boost right now, that'd be so big. We're going to Stellar Terra Moxie boost. We're not Moxie boost. Stellar Terra Aqua Step here. And you withdraw Dragon Who are you going into here? Who's your final Pokemon? Is it like Ursaluna or something? That'd be nice. I feel like it's gotta be Trickum side. It is Ursula. Okay, so Stellar Terra Aqua Step is gonna work wonders here. This, this should pick up the KO. I believe so. I believe so. And we are just gonna sit here and protect this Weezing because we don't want that neutralizing gas to wear out and that, uh. And the what's it called to come out? The sun. We really don't need a sunlight. So we protect the Weezing, try to keep it on the field a little bit. And he's gonna protect Torkoal. Phenomenal turn for us. I think this Ursuline is dead. Aquacept coming in hot. I hope it's dead. Did I get that speed boost and that plus one boost? Let's see. Man. Come on now. Come on now. So we know right now that we outspeed. Which is great news. And they don't have drought. So I think our best bet would just be to like sludge bomb KO you. And then just Aqua Step again over into the slot. Just do as much damage as we can to Torkoal right now. And they just cancel match. They cannot handle the Weezing and Quack with all power. So far, we are absolutely killing it. We are 2 0, dominating with Quack with all, Weezing, and Slacking. And we're going up against Greninja and Annihilate, alongside with Archaludon and Pelipper. This calls for Weezing and Slacking again. As much as I don't want to do it, but this combo just works so well. We're going to do that again. We're going to bring Quack with all. And last but not least, I think in this matchup, we don't want Dragon. I think we would rather have like Rillaboom here. I do like Rillaboom. You got that high horsepower? Good. Yeah. I like Rillaboom here. So I'm going to go Rillaboom with the AV, the Assault Vest, which is great. You got a few special attackers, such as like Claude Sire. Um, actually, is Claude Sire a special attacker? Yeah, I mean, it usually throws like gunk shots around. Um, Archer Leon special attacking. Same thing with uh, Pelipper. And I like Rillaboom. Not. But I like this. I definitely like Rillaboom here because if we're going up against, like, say, like, Greninja here, we could just obviously just grass got into it. But we also have high horsepower to deal with Archer Ludon. Woodhammer does crazy damage on everybody else. Fake out just so good. Like, Rillaboom is just him. Like, Rillaboom is elite. Definitely in the elite category for meta Pokemon. Just can't really go wrong with it. But 2 and 0. Two wins, two losses. Quackleball going crazy. Quackleball is going crazy. Like, Slacking, wheezing, like just get things started. The burns are huge for us. And then like Quack Revolve just comes in the back end. And it's just picking up KOs. Aqua step in, close combats, you name it. Just big time damage all around. So no Grass Strain is gonna pop out here. What is Cloud Sire's ability? Water absorb? I think that's a correct statement. The water absorb is usually that. I'm just gonna protect and you know what? I'm just gonna keep doing what I've been doing. I'm just gonna willow with the physical attackers. It works so well. It works so well. It really does. I think they do end up faking out slacking here. Just trying to prevent some damage from flying through here. So I'm just going to go for the Protect. And if I can land a Will-O-Wisp onto Rillaboom, it's just huge. And I don't want to say it yet. I don't want to say it yet. We'll say it after this turn. But let's just let's just see what happens. There's the Fake Out. Oh, it goes into Weezing. I was going to say, we are bound to miss a Will-O-Wisp soon. We really are. But this is a great turn from our opponent. A really good turn from our opponent. That was a really good turn from our opponent. And we're sitting in... In a tough spot now. We're sitting in a tough spot now. We are sitting in a tough spot. But we're going to go into our Rillaboom. Wow, that was just a good play from our opponent. Reading a Protect and just doubling down in the Weezing. That does hurt. And I'm curious to see if my Truant is going right now. So I'd rather just like double edge you and go into like a Woodhammer in the slot. Even though actually high horsepower is super effective. But you are poisoned. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to go double edge this slot. Get that stab damage just going. And we'll just high horsepower with Rillaboom. I could fake out if I want to, but I, I just think attacking is going to be the player. Wow, that was such a strong first turn from our opponent. That's rough. Doubling down to the Weezing. Not faking out the slacking was bold, but it worked out. But it worked out because most of the time people just protect the Weezing. But at this point, I was sitting here just riding with what was working for me in the past couple games. So he ends up with strong Cloud Sire. Strong play there. I and mean, luckily, Double Edge is flying into the Rollboom slot. But they're going to go into Annihilate Pierce. And Truon, I'm loafing around. <laughs> the worst ability in all Pokemon. High Horsepower launches. Does respectable damage. And Woodhammer's going to launch. And now I'm down low on HP. So he takes some recoil. Um, 
I should be fast on the field. Obviously, again, you could protect, but I don't think you have protect on Robo. I really don't. So I think just going into the double edge is going to be your play. I'm going to go double edge, and I'm just going to rock a wood hammer. I'm just going to rip a wood hammer right into the slot. I think slacking, yeah, slacking should be fastest on the field. So looking to rip a double edge, try to get back in this game. Because we're going to need a KO right here. Because I think, I honestly think Woodhammer has a shot at KO in an island. Unless you go fire to her. It might jinx it. Because we do have Quack Quaval. And if I get out Quack Quaval with this roll boom gone, that'd be huge. Can we soak this? We do. I love you. I love you, Slacking. It's a big time soak. U turn's going to pivot out. And Woodhammer's flying into the slot. But not a bad U turn from them. Double edge recoil is going to KO us. But if I could take out this roll boom at the same time, we got a shot. Let's see where they go into. It's going to be Arch Loot on such a solid swap. Double Edge is going to fly here. And it's going to pick up the KO. So cool. So I dropped the Rollaboom. My slacking dies out here. But this Arch Loot on right here. About to get a plus one boost. Might just wrap it up for us. Might just wrap it up for us. Yeah, negative five damage. <laughs> Stealing Dragon type. Stamina boost it. Thanks for playing. Only way I can win this is if uh, Quack Quaval can pick up a KO with a Stellar Terror close combat. That's really it. That's really all I got. And you're sitting in the grassy terrain with with leftovers. This is just this is just ugly. This is just ugly. And and, you, and you're probably going to fast slides. But like I said, the only way I can win this is if close combat Stellar Terror KOs. And I think we're going to need a crit for it, to be honest. <laughs> I really do. Let's see who they're going to bring out here. Is it going to be an Eye Leap again? It is going to be an Eye Leap. So an Eye Leap seems to be choice, to be honest with you. And I gotta go for this, and I just gotta go for a Woodhammer right now. It's our only, it's our only way. Like I said, they made a really good play turn one, kind of just turned the tides real quick, and then they they have Arch Loot on. Like Arch Loot on's so good, especially without my Weezing. Like we dealt with it, what was it, match number one or two, with Weezing by not allowing it to stamina boost. But now that they made that good play and got rid of my Weezing, it's just like, oh man, this thing's just chilling here. But we gotta give it a shot. We gotta give it a shot with Stellar Terror type. Quack Quaval. If I needed a crit, it would be now. Rage Fist gonna fly. This thing is choice for sure. And he's gonna do monstrous amounts of damage. Close Comic gonna launch. Give me the crit. Give me the crit. That's some good damage. That was close, man. If that would've killed, we actually probably would've had a shot at winning this game. Because I feel as this Woodhammer should be able to KO. And Flash Cannon's going to outspeed us regardless. But we soak. Can this Woodhammer KO? Hold up. Hold up. Jeans might have a shot here. Jeans might have a shot. They still have Terra. They still have Terra, which we know. This thing's stamina plus two boosted. Um, hold up. Give me a second. Let me cook. Let me cook. He's going to get back some nice HP. Wow, dude. That close combat did some damage. If that KO, we would probably win this game. But we don't know their last Pokemon, which it really comes down to. It really comes down to this. Who's their final Pokemon? Who you got? Oh, I totally forgot. It is Clodsire. Clodsire's on the field. You're going to Terrasilize. I hope you don't have Fairy. You probably have Fairy. And we're going to go High Horsepower to the slot. Let's see. I know he has Water Absorb for Clodsire, so that's something we got to watch out for. Terra is going to pop here. We already know it. But I have to go for close combat because I would look like the biggest idiot if I go for Aqua Step and make a read. I maybe should have went for Aqua Step, but I don't know if that's KOing. Let's see what he's got here. Could be Fairy, fairy Terror. Could be Electric. You have Protect. The only Arch Loot on to have Protect. That really hurts. That really hurts. That's going to be game. Hot Tire's going to be able to pick up KO with High Horsepower. My high horsepower comes out here first. And I KO. The crit. Like I said, the Pokey Gods responded. I said if I needed a crit, it would be now. I actually asked it for Quack Quaval, but Rillaboom. That works out fine. I feel bad for our opponent, though. They played that one so well. That was a big time protect. We can now launch close combats and wood hammers? Again, they still have Terra. I don't know really what the play is here. My grass train's gone. They still might win this. They really still might win this. I gotta go into close combat. I gotta go high horsepower here. Probably should have went Woodheimer just to cover the potential Terra. But yo, we KO'd the Clodsire. I still think they have a shot at winning this. Yep, there's Terra. 
Is it fairy? What is it? What is it? It's probably fairy, right? Fairy would do us dirty. Grass. Close comment. You got this? Close comment. You got this? I know Robin don't got this, but close comment. You got this? You got this? Oh no, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose! Let's get another crit with high horse power. We're gonna lose! Yeah, we're gonna lose. Yeah, we're gonna lose. High horse power's probably gonna do 2 HP. Negative 5, I say. It's gonna hit like a paper towel, I should say. Absolute paper towel. Right here. Paper towel. Right there. Definition of paper towel. Sam is gonna get boosted. He can body press his way to victory. GG's. GG. So, crit doesn't matter. Like I said, I felt bad for opponent. I feel like they outplayed us there, so they definitely deserve to win. Um... I don't know. I mean, Woodhammer would do the most damage, but it's still not going to KO. Body press launches. GG's. GG's. 2-1 for today's video. I feel like we showcased this team really well, and Quackleval thrived out. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Showcase the power of Quackleval in today's video. Wheezing and Slacking doing amazing as well, but Quackleval definitely the MVP. We went 2-1, and, and it was amazing. I mean, Aqua Step giving us speed boost, Moxie giving us that plus one boost, and Quackleval just has great stat moves all around to do big time damage. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.